Who's this lady we're meeting? The source. Florence Tinge. She ran the rules and regs department for 30 years. She wrote the forms. She has touched every life in this city. Not mine. Yeah, huh? Haven't you ever filled out a mileage reimbursement form? No, dude. I'll make you do those for me. Right. I'm so grateful to you for that. Anyway, she's the only person that can figure this out. She understands the bureaucracy on a level that we mortals can't even fathom. Florence Tinge. What? Detectives Diaz in Santiago, NYPD. And I just want to say, those cats are having sex. Yeah. Uh, can you explain these forms to us? They seem logically flawed. At first I thought it was a mistake, but then I thought there's something deeper at play here. No, it's a mistake. They don't work. What? But you wouldn't design a form that literally can't be filed. Yeah, I would. I did it all the time. Mostly out of spite, but also incompetence. Plus, I just found out I'm dyslexic. Okay, thank you for your time. Good luck with all your uh, hoarding, Florence. Okay, where are you barefoot? I'm violating Uniform Conduct Code 773 because the rules are pointless, because they are written by a hoarder who doesn't care. Same here. Fight the power. We can't give up now. Not when Captain Holt's career is on the line. We have to get that permit. How? The forms don't make any sense. I mean, is anything even real? No, odds are we exist in a computer simulation, but I don't have time to go down that rabbit hole. Look, the fact that these forms are broken is a good thing. It means there are many mistakes. Mistakes we can exploit. That's right. This is every form Sapo has put out for a hundred years. We have to read every single one and look for minuscule mistakes that will help us get that permit. So you ready for a kick-ass assignment? Hell yeah. Let's do this. 